Well, if you're looking for a fun way to spend time with the family, we have an, exp an inexpensive adventure for you, really. Joining me now, we have Angela Cato to talk about what's happening over at the Indian Center. Well, well, hello. Hi, thanks for having me on. So what do we have to enjoy? What's coming up? Well, all summer long, we're doing Indian Summer at the Indian Center, and we have a fun hashtag we're using and really inviting people to come and discover the Indian Center as you're out visiting the Keeper of the Plains over yeah. the summer. Walk into the Indian Center because we have the rest of the story inside there. And so, anything new this summer that people can go and experience? Absolutely. We have a new exhibit that just opened called Every Sheep Gets a Haircut. <laughs> and it's a fun exhibit. It's about weaving and those type of materials. And um, what you go in there, and you can mention that you saw information about it on, on this newscast. You can get a free mini Luma yourself, or you can try your own hand at weaving, a little activity kit. Sure. And it, it's just a fun, um, fun excitement. What you're seeing now are some pictures we did for a commercial that we're having air on cake. Ah, um, I love it. <laughs> a lot of fun activities. There's um, hands-on activities for the children inside the museum. And this is any day of the week. They're open Tuesday through Saturdays, 10 to 4. And it's really just a great opportunity to go in there. We have now have the largest mural ever created by Black Bear Boson. And his connection to the Keeper of the Plains is he created the Keeper of the Plains mm -hmm. and also was one of the founders of the Indian Center. So it's really just a great opportunity to go in there, find out the connection between the Keeper of the Plains and the Indian Center, and then have some fun with their hands-on and interactive activities. Yeah, and who doesn't love going to Keeper of the Plains and all that? That oh, whole area, I mean, I yes. could spend days and days and days out there. It's beautiful, and what people may not realize is that you can walk through those back gates, go through the back, um, and then go up to the Indian Center and continue your visit. Oh, that's cool, and, yeah. Yeah, museum rates are very inexpensive too. $7 for adults, I believe $6 for children, going even lower there as the younger you get. And you can spend some time there going around. They have flags from 100 different tribes out there in the Gallery of the Nations. They have pictures that depict Black Bear Bozeman's childhood. They are home to the largest exhibit anywhere on display of Black Bear Boson artwork mm -hmm. because the Keeper of the Plains actually was the only sculpture he ever created. He was really a painter. And everywhere, it seems like we get a ton of pictures of Keeper of the Plains, yes. and we love them. So I, I, I appreciate everything with that. Is there anything with all the exhibits for... Um, this summer that you absolutely love that you're like people just need to see that one right there. Well, you know I am what you saw a picture here a few minutes ago that large mural for Black Bear Bozen. I mean it is immense. It was donated just not too long ago by CoBank to the city of Wichita mm -hmm. on permanent exhibit at the Indian Center. And when you walk through there, it's just so colorful, and you get a little bit of perspective when you saw those kids walking across it, how big the mural is in comparison to everything else. It really is just the centerpiece of our Boson exhibit mm -hmm. and really finishes the story because it was the last piece he ever created. Yeah, that's beautiful. Well, I love it. Thank you for joining Thank us, you. Angela. We put some details up on our Facebook fan page if you want to go and check everything out over at the Indian Center.